Our staff of Metro Mass Transit Limited are on a sit-down strike demanding the immediate removal of the managing director and two deputies. Now my colleague Elvis Andor is there and is joined me live for a conversation on the back of this. Elvis, welcome to the show. Have they given you any reasons why they want these people gone? Hello, well, Ken, just as you've mentioned, they are not happy with the way management is actually taking care of uh, the uh, company or perhaps to say um, the Metro Mass Transit Limited. They say that management has neglected them and also not looked um, on them with some kind of um, good attention. And also the vehicles that they work with are in a deplorable state to which management has not done anything um, to rectify the situation. I'm here with the senior staff divisional um, Secretary is chairman, actually. Um, he's George Imprim, and we will have interactions with him to know what exactly they want as um, members or concerned members of the Metro Mass Transit Limited Group. Um, you welcome to Metro News. Share with us what actually is your issue here and why are you on sit down strike? First of all, I would like to say a very big thank you to the president of the land, Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu, for what he has done or for the continued work he has done ever since he assumed office as president in fact in 2017 2017 he gave us 84 hongai buses in 2018 he gave us 50 daewoo buses in 2020 he gave us additional 49 daewoo buses in 2022 if you can remember uh, at the state house we launched 45 new vdl buses and i think arrangements are that by the end of the year we will get additional 55 new dau buses so it should rightly tell you that the president has metro mass in mind but unfortunately unfortunately the people that he appointed to take care or to be caretakers of metro mass are sinking this company and we cannot sit and look idle whilst these things are happening to us. That is why we, de we decided to let the president know that Metro Mass is sinking. But um, definitely you would have to communicate that to your senior executives or any board that takes care of the company. Um, have you done that and what was the response? In fact, we have done that severally. As uh, in August 15, 15th August 2022, I assumed office as a senior staff divisional chairman. We had the opportunity to meet with the board on September 6th. We had an interaction with them. The next day, I called the board chairman and I asked about our grievances that we presented to him. He told me that he has he wants to put up a committee to look into those issues. In fact, I have called him afterwards and I think that it's politics as, as usual. So I, are, are you trying to say that the committee that was put up to investigate into the issues that you presented to the board has not been up and doing with the attacks? There has not been any committee so far as I'm concerned because no one has invited me to present anything to them. So, And I, you have not seen anyone come here to monitor activities here? Not at all. Okay, so uh, share with us. We've seen some of the buses um, in a deplorable state. Others are also left ajar. Is it that you've not reported these buses to the authorities, the appropriate authorities, to come work on it, or you've reported and nothing have, has been done about it? In fact, when uh, what is happening is that when I, ever since I've been in Metro Mass, in fact, from 2008, I've been in Metro Mass, we we're operating a depot impress system where branch managers have some kind of impress to manage when it comes to small small repairs that are supposed to be done on these on the buses when mr abet edubwaini took office and uh, with the help of the internal audit manager that system was scrapped off so now if you have any petty cash or any petty repairs that you need to do if you have any petty repairs that you need to do you have to write to head office for head office to come or bring in something before you would be able to or you would allow to, you you'll be able to work on those buses and these things so far as we are concerned are creating a whole lot of problems because some of these repairs are petty starter alternators fan belt uh, brake parts hub these things are petty that we think that if the depot managers were to be given impress 
to work on those things, it will be done. Some of the, the buses too have been earmarked for scrap that okay. we expect uh, we are expecting approval from uh, Flagstaff House or something. So how, how, how long, not to butt in, but um, how long are you going to stage this sit down strike or what are you going to do after today? In fact, the demands of the union are that we expect the president to wage or to remove the executive if these things are done today the next day you see us working okay so until the president responds to your call you will not um, actually um, forfeit what you're doing now and you allow the government to lose with regards to people who patronize the metro mass transit until the president comes in to help you with your demands that is what you are going to do yes. right okay so that is um echo george um giving amos us george. amos george um imprim giving us details about what the unions will be demanding until the president comes to um give them a possible answer and a solution in order to call off the sit down strike as, as they've started reporting for metro news elvis and metro mass transit accra